Hi guys, Shuki Desk and here at Cool Automation UK. In this video, we will look at user management of the professional cloud platform. So here we can add the users who can use our login. It could be our entire account. Let's have a look. So when we invite users, we can invite them to do an entire customer, which means all the sites which this customer has. It could be a specific site, it could be a group of units on a site, or it could even be only specific units. We can even go to a level where each unit, the, the user has different permissions on it. So let's have a look at it. So here we can see, for example, we go for entire site, 10 ways office, our office, and we can allow them, for example, to be admin, which means they can do anything. We can set it either just for the operation app or also for the professional app with all the diagnostic data and advanced data. So if we set them, for example, is limited, now we will open up the site and if we have groups, we can allow them specific groups or units and each unit we can decide, it will start with none, but we can set on each one whether they have admin or viewer or non permission. So they can have one admin, one non, and another one of you, however we want to set it up. The same we can do on the group, how we want to set it. If we want to give them the entire site, then we'll set them either the admin or users or technical service for the entire site. Each user will have a email address, which that will be the username. If they already have one with Let's say, for example, you have a service provider, an air conditioning service provider, and you are the end user, and you want to allow your service provider to control your units remotely or look at them, etc. Then, if they already have a username, their email address is already registered with our Cool Automation Cloud platform, then when you enter the email address, it won't create a new user for them, it will just add your permissions, your customer or your site or your groups or your units, whatever you allow them to their already available uh, email address, which is logged in. Otherwise, it will just send them an invitation and you can ex have your invitation expiring. So it's only valid for a for specific time and then it's going to expire and that date. So let's say you want them only for a limited period and then you don't want them to access anymore. So this is the user management tab. That's how to set up and manage different users. Thank you for watching.